assalamu alaikum class hope you all are fine today we will start our new unit unit number 12 the earth sun moon and stars class these all are objects of space there are lots of other objects in space too like dwarf planets regular planets stars satellites metroids and so on there are huge galaxies of stars too but in this unit we will discuss about the earth sun moon and stars the objects of space class the three main objects of space are sun earth and moon sun is a star earth is a planet and moon is a satellite class these all three make a solar system and sun is the center point of that solar system which is a star earth is a planet and it orbits around the sun orbits mean ek madar mein ghumna we will discuss about orbit later and moon is a satellite which revolves or orbit around the earth and with earth it also orbits around the sun too so these three make a solar system and we will discuss them one by one class sun is 109 times bigger than earth earth is 50 times bigger than moon so we can say that moon is the smallest of all these three and sun is the biggest of all these three now let's discuss them one by one the sun class the sun is a star it is made up of burning gases burning gases means dehkti hui gases ya jalti hui gases The sun is a natural source of light and heat. Students, as we know that sun is at sun is a star at the center of the solar system. It is made up of many gases. These gases burn all the time, and because of that, it is very hot and bright. We on Earth take its heat and light. sun is very important for us sunlight is also very important for plants and for us too it helps plants to grow and that's how all living things exist on the earth class sun is round like a ball and we know that sun is a star and stars don't move they remain still at their place as we have discussed it is many times bigger than earth but it looks very small from the earth so what's the reason why it looks very small from the earth so the answer is it is very far away from the earth yani ye zameen se bahut dur hone ki wajah se zameen par bahut chhota dikhta hai actually it is huge in size huge means bahut bada so star sun is a star which is gigantic and very huge in size our next object of space is the earth the earth is a planet class planets are the objects which move around the sun there are eight planets in our solar system and the earth is the third planet in our solar system it is round like a ball we call this shape a sphere sphere means daira numa cheese the earth spins round and round on its axis the word spins mean gardish this movement is called rotation The earth also moves round the sun and that movement is called revolution. Now let's discuss both rotation and revolution in detail. Rotation of the earth. Class, look at here. The earth is rotating. The earth is spinning. 
it means the earth is continuously spinning on its axis which is called rotation look at here the earth is continuously moving or spinning that black line shows that black line shows that the earth is moving on its axis and that one rotation completes in 24 hours which means in a one day so that whole rotation completes in one day and that one day complete rotation causes day and night day and night so class look at this picture the side of the earth facing the sun has day look at that bright side which is facing the sun has a day and the other side which is darker that side of is away from the sun is in shadow this side has night so the earth spins round once every 24 hours and that's how the day changes into night and the night changes into day so this is the rotation which causes day and night now move on to the revolution of earth revolution means ghumna yani zameen ka suraj ke gird chakkar lagana class look at that the moving that moving ball is earth and it is moving around the sun it is continuously moving around the sun that huge orange ball is the sun and that one revolution completes in one whole year class the earth is moving on an orbit orbit means madar yani wo rasta jis par zameen suraj ke gird apna chakkar mukammal karti hai so class one revolution completes in one year and that's how the revolution causes different seasons and these four seasons are summer winter spring and autumn so class that's how we experience all the seasons in a whole year this is all because of revolution of the earth around the sun our next topic is the moon the moon is also a part of solar system as we know that the moon is also sphere in shape it is much smaller than the earth the moon is called a satellite now the question is what is satellite class satellite means the moving object that revolves around the earth or other planets so class moon is continuously revolving around the earth so it is called a natural satellite by taking the idea from moon humans have sent so many man-made satellites around 3000 which are revolving around the earth and continuously sending us information from space about other objects like planets and stars class moon completes its one revolution around the earth in 29 or 30 days so that's how the months change class moon has no light of its own the light we see on the moon is the light of the sun so have you ever noticed the shape of the moon appears to change this is because as we know that the moon orbits the earth only the part of the moon on which the sunlight is falling is visible to us so when the moon is new we only see small portion because it is facing very less to the sun and after 14 days when it faces the uh, whole sun we see the full moon class let's discuss few more facts about the moon class as we know that there is no life on the moon because there is no air on the moon and there is very 
little water so there is no living thing exist there exist means paya jana yani hawa aur pani na hone ki wajah se moon par living things nahi paye jate class some countries have sent space ships into space space ships means air space crafts or rockets in 1969 an american was the first man to walk on the moon and his name is neil armstrong as there is no air in the space astronauts have to wear space suit with oxygen inside astronauts means khalabas astronauts are the people who travels to space so class as there is no oxygen over there so they take their oxygen with themselves and they travel to space and take the information for us astronauts are the highly trained people yani unki baqaida training ki jati hai taki wo space mein ja ke hamare liye information lekar aaye okay class in this unit we have discussed about the three objects of solar system the sun the earth and the moon we have discussed how the earth rotate and revolve and how it causes day and night and changes the season and lastly we have discussed about moon so class uh, read all the chapter and for at least 5 times and learn all the difficult words thank you